But this is the topic that nobody generally talks about. Uh, we don't even imagine these things happening, so we don't really prepare for these things. But uh, you can look at it as something that uh, our effort to safeguard ourselves in an event of uh, accident or adverse situations. And uh, so that is, uh, let's say we have set up our two-factor authentication on for our Instagram page and we are not being able to access our phone somehow or we don't have phone uh, in our hand or uh, our phone is lost or stolen or broken. So it's not just us losing our phone at that time, but also us being locked out of our Instagram account. So how do we safeguard ourselves into these, in, in, during these scenarios, during these circumstances? So uh, the way we can do that is uh, having a backup option for us to get into our Instagram account, uh, even if we don't have access to those two-factor authentication OTPs or codes that get generated every 20 seconds, 30 seconds, depending upon what type of uh, authenticator app or two-factor authentication way we are we have opted we have opted for. And yeah, uh, as we are talking about that. Uh, we have multiple options to set up our two-factor authentication. One is through SMS, and second is through uh, two authenticator apps, and third is security key, which is uh, uh, using a physical device as a key for our two-factor authentication. So, uh, in general, it's quite intuitive for us to go for. Uh, uh, getting our two-factor authentication codes via SIM card or text SMS which has certain drawbacks compared to if we opt for uh, an authenticator app or uh, this physical key or security key like UB key uh, you can look it up so uh, and those drawbacks are a uh, first uh, there is a possibility that we might not receive the SMS due to certain network failure uh, either for that particular period of time or maybe we are at some remote place and uh, that is one way to to be locked out of our account and second is uh, it's not pretty secure compared to other alternatives that we have uh, hackers can clone our phone Maybe they have kind of a chip inside that clone phone. Uh, I'm not a technical person. I don't know how exactly it's done, but uh, they can receive. There is a possibility that they can receive uh, the SMS, all the SMS that we receive on our phone. Obviously, they need to have our password in order to actually reach into our account. Uh, but this is one loophole to this a way of uh, safeguarding our account through two factor authentication and second is uh, i don't know it depends on where you are living what country you are living in and what are the protocols does your sim card company follows but it is possible for the scammer or hacker to uh, pose as you and uh, divert all the sms to their phone uh, and discontinuing your sim card and diverting all the calls and SMS to their phone. And uh, they just need to have a few, uh, a bunch of information about you, let's say an address, a name, or an, some other stuff. And uh, it is possible for them to receive, start receiving all the SMS uh, that are sent to your SIM card. Again, in the same, in this case, as well, they need to have a password with them but uh, this is uh, a way that it can be exploited so why do you take a risk if you have a free alternative uh, maybe i mean now uh, if you opt for a security key you might have to purchase that but in terms of uh, opting for authentication apps they are free most of them are free 
uh, let's take an example of Google Authenticator or even uh, Apple Passwords. Now, uh, let's, let's assume that we have opted for a Google Authenticator or Apple Passwords to safeguard our account through two-factor authentication. And uh, now we have lost access to our phone. Our phone is the only place where we would get all those codes uh, when we are trying to sign in to our account, apart from the password. So there are two ways uh, that in which we can enter into our own account if we don't have access to our phone. First is uh, either your authenticator app have a certain kind of a feature that will enable you to log into, into your accounts without having access to those uh, codes. And second is the account in which you are trying to sign in that particular platform or that particular website or that particular app has certain functionality that helps you to sign in without the two-factor authentication code if you don't have those two-factor authentication codes. So uh, Instagram has this kind of functionality and that's what you need to opt for. When you turn on your two-factor authentication, Instagram lets you download a list of backup codes that you can use when you don't have access to your authenticator app. Now, the way you do is uh, there is a button Instagram gives you, take screenshot and the screenshot is automatically taken and it gets saved to your camera roll and then either you can keep it there as it gets synced to iCloud so there is no there's no much worry for us to to lose that uh, lose that particular screenshot but as a backup option you can always save that to your uh, iCloud folder so and whenever you don't have access to your to factor authentication codes that's where you can use any of these backup codes once you use any of those backup codes, it can be used next time. And uh, this is one way. Another way is, thanks. And another way is uh, having an app, authenticator app, that lets you have an alternative method to enter into your job to enter into your account if you don't have those backup I'm sorry if you don't have those uh, two factor authentication codes or you don't have access to your phone so the way you can do is first Apple passwords don't have this functionality of uh, any kind of uh, backup option uh, neither does uh, Google Authenticator Google Authenticator have uh, you can opt for uh, apps like Authy if you trust Authy enough you can opt for it because that is the app that uh, supports multi-device uh, functionality. So if you lose your phone, you can still get those codes through your desktop. On desktop, you can install that app of Authy and you have it just works the same as if you have that app inside your phone. So even if you lose your phone, you still have those codes and you can always uh, sign in into your account. Now, um, yeah, so yeah, uh, almost all platforms do give you backup codes apart from Instagram, Google, LinkedIn. Uh, I don't know about LinkedIn, but yeah, always keep that in mind that you have those backup codes with you. And if not, you are using an alternative method, uh, two-factor authentication method that helps you to enter into your account even if you don't have access to your phone. So yeah, that's what it was. I hope it helps. Peace.